The reason why we did a project like this is because uh, we understand that many users in the home use second screens while they watch TV. However, we feel that there's a real, uh, they are quite disjointed in the experience. People tend to watch video on the TV and they tend to look down and interact on the, on the tablet device. So what we wanted to do is try to figure out a way how we could build this experience which would allow the user to have this single experience across two screens. So what we're looking at here is the Echo application itself. Uh, and the first thing that you can see is, is this area at the top of the iPad which is called the bridge. And what the bridge is, is it is an extended piece of video which comes out of the TV and into the, into the tablet. The purpose for doing this is that we wanted the users to feel like they have one single experience spread across both screens. Down here we have a, a content feed, which is a feed of various video, a video coming from various sources, which is personalized for the user themselves. So this is coming from anywhere from the service provider or a channel. It could come from YouTube, Instagram, Vine, whatever. It's just about the, the, the collection of different videos for the end user. So what's interesting about this bridge is that because it sits on a touchscreen device, it invites users to touch, to touch and interact with it. And, and the, 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 what, what, something that the user can do, which is called, which for example, something simple as a channel change, they can basically lift, push the video away, and they can tune to it to a different channel. So what we're doing now is we're basically we're giving the users the opportunity to be able to touch the TV, which in a, in a, in a touchscreen world, this is something which is very very intuitive and very obvious. We also do something which is what we call the peak, which is so the, here we can see that the user is able to lift the video and peek into the channel below here. Now this is something that resonates very, very well with sports fans because it means that they can watch one game while they can peek into other games. Also, we can control uh, the, the transport controls in the video. So in this case, if I want to pause, I'll just simply tap. Again, this is a language that touchscreen users understand. If I want to fast forward, I just drag forward. Now here you can see the UI is extending from one screen into the other. Also, there's the opportunity to take this bridge and go completely full screen. Now, this gives the user the opportunity to have a full screen mirror of the, 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 the content which is on TV. They can then take this away to consume elsewhere. So, now that we, so I've just briefly explained some of the basic interactions around the bridge itself. But what the bridge also serves as is a portal between both screens. So, in this case, if I want to watch a piece of content from my feed, I basically drag it out of the out of the feed and up into the TV. And now you can see that the same piece of, the same content card is spread across both screens. We, it, it retains the, the visual elements on the TV, which is the, which is the, the, the poster art and the, and the uh, information about, about the event. And it leaves the, the, the touch screen capability and the controls on the, on the, uh, the tablet. So on HSN, uh, we built a, a uh, a, a, the concept of a shopping DVR. So the concept behind a shopping DVR is it basically allows the user to be able to navigate back through an, a program, a shopping program, by product rather than by time. So in this case, I've navigated back through previous products which have been broadcast. I can tap to open them up and get more information about them. And I can choose to go back and watch that piece of video. So again, using the cloud DVR, I've now jumped back in time and watching the presentation again. This is a great opportunity for HSN to be able to sell the content again using the video presentation. Many users have these devices in their hands already. They're very, very powerful devices which are capable of delivering wonderful experiences. And, and we believe that now is the time when these type of experiences can be produced for the TV.